So welcome to another edition of Drone Service Systems. I'm your host, John Victor Jacobson, and this is my co-host, Drone Girl, Lauren Sorensi. Hi! And Drone Monkey, Paige Siosia. Let's welcome both of these fine young ladies. Yay! Welcome! Okay, so today we're going to uh, review the uh, Parrot Bebop Drone. And uh, this is a new system that uh, has been touted now for the last several months. They've been teasing us about its technology. They've been showing us what it can do on, on camera, on the, in, in the commercials, on TV. And we were so impressed with uh, what we saw that we decided that we would uh, independently review this product without any endorsement from Parrot. So, uh, there's Toby. Say hi, Toby. There's Toby. Look at the camera. There we go. That's a good boy. That's He's our drone buddy. dog. That's drone doggy. Toby Doodle. All right. Ooh. Now, the first thing I can tell you about this product is here. These things right here, if you try to follow these directions, and I don't know how many different languages, but. I'm going to guess about 20. Well, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, this is a primarily app driven system. It has GPS stabilization and uh, altitude uh, uh, hold lock. And uh, we were so impressed by uh, what we were able to do with this uh, device today in just getting it to hover indoors. Something I would not suggest if you were an inexperienced pilot, take this outside because it's got very powerful blades and these things will shred flesh Let's look at what comes in the box, Lauren. Uh, what do we have here? Talk uh, to me. We have a charger and two batteries that came with the box itself. We did not buy a second battery, so that was fantastic. And what's this? And this is a cap for the camera that comes on the uh, drone. So, the instructions, which obviously come. Okay, so how did you learn about this product? How were you able to uh, get it into the air? Tell us. Well, it was pretty easy. Why don't we show everyone how to set this thing up and get it to hover. All right. What do you say? Um, all right, yeah. show us how to put the battery in. I think that's number one. Yeah, okay. Take. Explain what you're doing. You take the port and the battery and you just connect it. Okay. And do you want to align and the- And then you have this, yeah. Yeah, you want to align that and push it Slide in. Slide that in. Slide that in. And snap it if it'll snap. This is a weak system. Uh, we should have some kind of a Velcro strap that holds this battery forward because it yeah. will slip out. So go ahead. Then you just Velcro it in because that that was a safety precaution that was added by the drone itself, but okay. we recommend more. Okay, so it's a nice Velcro strapped, uh, lightweight aerial platform. And we're gonna discuss some of its features later. So let's, uh, what do you say we Turn it on. Why don't you go to the Bebop app? Okay. And let's see what we're doing with that. Let's turn on the system. Okay, so you're gonna do what? You're gonna turn it on. We're gonna yep. turn it on. You turn on the system. And then what happens? It. You have to sync it. Connects with. Mm. There we go. Wi Fi. It with Wi Fi. And it should connect itself. All you have to do is just tap on it and then just set it up. It's pretty easy. Okay, it's uh... Okay. And we're connected. And then, Very good. All right, and then you now, can see as it's it connected. Itself. So uh, let's look at the, uh, the screen here. What do we have? Well, this is the camera. It basically shows you what you want to see, it views. Okay, see? so we have the camera. Wait a minute. Let's, so let's, let's take a look at us. Hello. Hi. It's, hello, everybody. What's up? What we have here is a 14 megapixel uh, camera. It has a three axis stabilized full HD 1080p camera on board integrated into this system. Uh, we have uh, on the drone app, we have uh, the menu right here. We have settings right there. Now what else do we have? Uh, Lauren, explain what else is there. Um, we've also got a digital tilt camera that allows you to have different views of what um, the drone sees. You have to go to the internal memory and then you have to transfer it to the gallery and then you may view it. So. Other features include Drone Academy on the app. And what is Drone Academy? It's basically an app where you can 
compare your flight time and how you're doing with other flyers. So, so now I'm going to put my thumb on the left side, here, and uh, now I'm going to start doing some flight testing, right, left, forward, forward, and we're going to go up, okay, up, so this is us, that's cool, Wow, I'm very impressed with this. Very happy. So let's fly over to the waterfall. We have 79% battery power left, drone girl. What do you say? Yeah, let's do Are it. Are you ready? Here we go. Woo. Right, explain to us. What happened is this just dropped out of the sky. So that's not good. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know why. I didn't do anything I shouldn't have done. But this bird just crashed and burned. I'm going to try and see, see if maybe I can show you this way. You put your thumb here on the left and then you tilt left and you tilt right, left and right. And that's what the bird and tilt it back and forward. And that's basically how it works. So it takes a little bit of practice, but I'm kind of getting the hang of this and I'm really liking it a lot. Wow, this thing's impressive. Well, for the second trip around, I think uh, we're looking good. How much is the Be Parrot Bebop drone, Lauren? Uh, $500. $500, that's kind of pricey, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, where can you buy this drone? Um, I believe you can buy it at Best Buy. Uh, Best Buy is yes. How easy was this to fly, It was Lauren? really easy to fly. Uh, did you like the tilt feature? Were you getting used to it? I absolutely love the tilt feature. Oh, that's great. Because it gives you multiple ways to play with it. Uh, what kind of problems did we have? Uh, oh, connecting. That yeah. was pretty difficult. Uh, you have to go into the app, then you have to... Uh, First you gotta go to your Wi-Fi, then you have to set it up, then it takes time to load, then you gotta access it in the app itself, and that's then... That's correct. So it's a little bit tricky, isn't it? Yeah, you've gotta mess with it first before... How much flying time do we have? 11 minutes. 11 minutes. That's pretty impressive for a package this small, but they keep getting smaller and better. How many batteries does it come with? It came with two batteries. That's good. Okay, so uh, let's look at the positives. First of all, this is a lightweight, interesting architecture. It's a great aerial video platform. It flies very stable. Uh, with practice, it will fly very well. There are lots of features with waypoints and other capabilities that uh, Bebop can do and we're gonna we're gonna be exploring that in the future. Let's see this here. Let's look at the FPV first person view system and when that comes out we're gonna get our hands on it. And we hope the parrot send us sends this to us so that we can uh, we can give them a fair review. Uh, this is no way to fly. Uh, we're going to just point that out right here. You have to have line of sight. If you're going to have FPV goggles on, then there should be a second person who is doing that. And the pilot should remain without goggles on, line of sight only. For Drone Service Systems, I'm John Victor. I'm Lauren Sorensi. And we Where's want you to fly, fly high and fly, fly safe. safe.